Would you like to read our title over there? I Come like on. our title. It's a morning cup of terrific two for tequila taco Tuesday. <laughs> That's a mouthful. It is. It is. <laughs> Carrie is waving. Hi, Carrie. Hi, <laughs> good to see you. Thanks, guys, for joining us, and thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting. We appreciate it. <laughs> so, yeah, it, apparently today is National Tequila Day. Yes, and it's two for Tuesday and Taco Tuesday. And oh, Terrific oh. Tuesday. And Terrific Tuesday. Oy, yoy, yoy. <laughs> and uh, I love the meme you have created for us today. <laughs> One does not simply ignore. <laughs> I love that. It's got to be one of my favorite meme pictures. There, there's a few that are like, uh, you know, like my top five. This is definitely in the top three. <laughs> and why? I don't know. It just there's something about because you just you get that perfect scene from the movie where one does not simply, and it just works for so many things. <laughs> I love it. It makes it just, it just works. It just works. See and and oh oh that reminds what, me. Huh? Um, I've doing? only seen that movie. Which which one is that? This one? Yeah. This is Lord of the Rings. Okay, so that is Lord of the Rings. I've seen that movie only twice. Well, no. Okay, so <laughs> there's there's three Lord of the Rings movies. Oh, see, I even asked which version. It, it's which not one? versions. There's, there's which one? one, two, and three. I don't right. remember which one. It doesn't matter. Ah! The man who has random movie facts yeah, stuck well. in his brain. It's <laughs> Tuesday and Tequila Tuesday. I already feel like I've had some shots of that. So I need what, what I'm saying hey, is I, I can't remember this scene. I, I, I don't scene. remember oh, that okay. scene. Well, he's talking about Mordor at this point. Okay, so, so it's probably the first <clears> one. Uh, um, yeah, either the first one or the third one. I'm going for probably the third one because oh, that's when they go to Mordor. But anyway, uh, okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the point is, <laughs> it's an epic, memorable scene, and it's memeable. And it's memeable. memeable. <laughs> that's like a thing. And so, so uh, you know, I mean, it's supposed to be Tequila Tuesday, so yeah, uh, I have to not partake. You have to not partake. Why is that? Um, the tequila <laughs> and I do not get along. <laughs> Unless it's mixed with stuff. Unless um, it's mixed. Oh, so like right. no shots, but you could do margaritas. Y yes. Oh, yes. Right. What it about has well, like a like a, a, a wow? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not working today. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. It has to be mixed with a lot of stuff. It can't be just it and something. Oh, okay. It has to be. I was gonna say like a tequila thing. sunrise, maybe. I I don't know. I've never had one. What? <laughs> terrible. I I usually. Um, when I was younger, it was usually just straight stuff. No, oh, it, it, it just yeah. you know straight whiskey, straight tequila, straight. I mean, what it about if you straight. cut it with a lime and some salt? It, yeah, that's not gonna no. work. <laughs> not gonna work. Um, <laughs> Cuervo and I got into an argument years ago, <clears throat> and uh, my body just says nope. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> so, excuse me. <clears throat> Renee's giving the googly eyes. <laughs> oh, ah, I see you. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of oh, crow. younger days and years, oh. <laughs> this is, this is, I, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Uh, uh, no. This is day two <laughs> of recovery from a self-inflicted <laughs> injury <laughs> yes, for you. Yes, it is. Yes, uh, so so mm. this is day two. The other night, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> Lois here decided that she was going to have a couple of glasses of wine. Uh, yeah, and which when, is you and, know, and I'm an extreme lightweight when it comes. Uh, yes, to yes, she's a cheap bait, which is awesome because <laughs> yeah. I'm not. So it's got to balance out somewhere. <laughs> so 
She's on her second glass of wine and in one of those kinds of moods because homework has been a pain Stress in the butt mood. all day. And so she's decided, let's, let's listen to some music, shall we? <laughs> and I'm like, sure, sure, let's go ahead and do that. So we've got, we've got the YouTube pulled up with some songs and, uh, and a particularly heavy song comes on, uh, you know, a little bit of rock and roll. And uh, Lois decides she's gonna headbang. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, why is it why is it that people <laughs> over a certain age shouldn't headbang? Like oh this? my, the muscles don't move as well. <laughs> she headbangs for possibly <laughs> ten to fifteen seconds. No, this it is, was longer than no, that. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Maybe it on was, your wine-addled brain, it might it, have it seen that. It was longer way. than that. Oh, it, it was a couple of. Of measures. A couple of measures. 10, 20 seconds. <laughs> All right. No, it was longer than 10 or 15 seconds. So anyway, she's still recovering from that. I am. I am. The muscles aren't as limber as they used to was. Her neck and shoulders. She basically gave herself whiplash. I did. I did. Oh, my goodness. And she's been miserable for two days. Oh. All from headbanging. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, in all honesty, it was good stress relief. <laughs> Not good stress and relief, no. It, it was, it was. Um, I did feel better. Unfortunately, once I stopped and sat down, I went, oh, I'm going to feel yeah, this. Yeah, you're going to regret that <laughs> in the morning. I, I, yep, I, I started feeling it a, li a little bit after I, I had stopped. Um, <laughs> oh, it's great. <laughs> You still got the, the headbanging thing down, but man, the consequences are just stellar. Uh, yeah, not really. One does not simply headbang uh, oh. after 30. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm telling you. But yeah, yeah. that it, it was really good stress relief for me. Um, Self-inflicted. Uh, well, no, just the the act itself, oh, you know, okay. was was really good stress <laughs> relief. The the um, un, unexpected self inflicted injury, however, <laughs> not so much. Yeah, it was, it was pretty entertaining. I just <laughs> <laughs> never, never reminds me we were, we were talking about me, you know, was crammed into a bilge the other day. Yes. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah, same same problem. <laughs> <laughs> All pretzeled up, and you start getting cramps in weird places. Yeah. Except mine was m more fun. Yeah, well, yes, yes, yes. Mine was not fun. No. Not fun at all. Uh, not fun at Renee all. Says, Renee says, like the song um, Tequila Makes Your Clothes Fall Off. Yes. <laughs> um, and what? Renee says, now you can't be mean when his neck is sore. <laughs> LOL. See? Call yeah, the wambulance. Yeah, All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I can because uh, usually his neck is sore because he's slept wrong. It, it's not really something that he has done on it. <laughs> it still hurts. <laughs> you be nice. I am being <clears throat> nice. <laughs> yeah. So, oh yeah, and don't forget, if your trash day is a Tuesday, today would be that day. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. So it's awesome. I guess you should throw a trash into that uh, long list of things that are going on today. Yeah. I think it's going to get me. And then the title. That's a lot of stuff going it on is. in one day. It is. Too many things. And Multitasking to the extreme. Definitely. But uh, for me, it'll have to be margaritas hmm? instead of tequila. Just straight tequila. No, well, we don't have tequila or margarita mix, though. So. That is true. Just saying. Um, but, uh, yeah, it is a rather interesting experience seeing me on, on one shot of tequila. <laughs> nope. Mm -mm. You know, it's, it's probably going to be just like the head banging at your age. You're going to do a shot of tequila and something not magical but dangerous is going to take place. <laughs> well, the, okay, the last time I had a shot of tequila, uh -huh. I blacked out. You, with one shot of tequila? With one shot of tequila. Yeah, no tequila for you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nope. But that was <clears throat> a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago in the galaxy was, far, it, far it away. Was, it was, um, uh, uh, without getting into specific time timelines and, and amount of years, I was in the army. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, moving on um, from that. <laughs> Carrie is laughing her head off. And uh, <laughs> Renee says, oh, man, no reality yet. 
Yeah, no, no tequila for us. No, nope. no tacos either. But no. everybody else needs to do this. So. Yes, yes. That is your mission for today. Find te- find a place that serves tequila and tacos. <laughs> we have a few I know, around here. I know. We do, and I know uh, several other places do as well. <laughs> Maybe at your own house. Who knows? Well, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe. <laughs> so, um. Yesterday, we're we're gonna we're gonna have to talk about this now. Uh-oh. I, I've pulled up something, and we're gonna have to talk about this because, for for those of you that don't know, I am I am a collector of fine books, oh, and old oh. books, and I love to read them so that I can learn more things. It's kind of like one of my things. Uh oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um, Carrie is giving. Several alcohol uh, emojis, <laughs> and he says good morning. Good morning from Side by Kin, AKA's Inscription House. Okay, you're you're killing me over here. I'm what? probably. Oh. oh, okay. Good morning. Good to good see morning. you. Thank you very much for joining I, us. I, I, I have. I, we have to look at the phone for the comments yes. because our internet is so amazing that nothing works. <laughs> Just saying, <laughs> it's magical. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this over because we need to talk about oh. this. Oh. <clears throat> so we have here, we have here a, a picture. And uh, I'll let you take a moment to read said picture. The top one, I help blind people. I give them independence. The, bottom, the middle one, I protect people. I help them walk around without fear of criminals. And they also use them, I think, uh, for, for, you know, like assistant dogs and stuff like yes. that. And then you have... A, a slightly higher form of dog than than the fat one, <laughs> and by the fat one I mean our dog Tigger. This one here. I'm surprised you didn't say my dog. <laughs> <clears throat> the one on the bottom there. Well, that is the bottom uh, feeder. You would think it says I eat shoes. Well, apparently, the fat one Tigger, our dog, has gone to the next level. She ate. One of my books. And it was, what, almost 100 years old? Yeah. She ate one of my 100-year-old books. It was Emerson. <clears throat> Just say it. Um, yeah, that, that is uh, pretty see, low on the totem right there. It is. It is. That's and, beyond mouth and, breather. And As you can see, the bottom dog here, there's the mouth breather. Your, your, your dog. <laughs> your dog has sunk to the next level. She ate a 100-year-old book. And you know what's really sad about that? Yes. Do tell. It's the first book she's ever eaten. So apparently she is a, a, a connoisseur of fine <laughs> books, and she apparently thought she could absorb knowledge through some kind of bizarre <laughs> osmosis <laughs> eating it. <laughs> so Emerson still- is now dead. It actually I- had a handwritten note. That was signed and dated from like 1932. I I still feel horrible about that. Yeah. So the dog ate a freaking book. Never well, before has she eaten a book. But okay. yesterday she ate a book, and it happened to be a good one. Well, you know, on 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 a ironic, funny side of that, Bengal was the book eater at one point. When yeah. I first got mm-hmm. him, he he ate several books. Yes, and the I last. I remember you telling me about that. Yeah. The last mm-hmm. book. Um, those of you who have either seen the movie or have read the book, uh, w- will appreciate the <laughs> irony of this. Um, the last book he ever ate was Marley and Me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't think I ever read that one. <laughs> it's about. <coughs> it is the story is about a terror of a dog. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> But he doesn't do that anymore. He doesn't. He yeah, doesn't. So it was. You it rectified was triggered. that situation. Um, and um, Renee says, "Oh no, she has good taste." No. And Dave says, "Was this really a hundred-year book, or could it have been a two-hundred-year book, or even a thousand? <laughs> you know, you got a good point. We'll have to consult with the experts. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah. Um, hmm. And uh, so Emerson. Bit it. Oh my! <laughs> yeah, I went oh there. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Uh, yeah, you did go there. I did. I, did. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> it, so yeah, I still feel horrible about it. Well, you and should. She and she at this point, because you know the whole dog thing, um, doesn't really remember. Nope. Clueless. She's like a fish. 
Yeah. Every three seconds, huh, what? Huh, yeah, what? Pretty much. Yeah. And it's funny because you keep going, you're like, oh yeah, they're, they're like a two-year-old. But I keep reminding you that, that, you know, that study shows that the most intelligent dogs in the world are the equivalent of two-year-olds. Yours is not quite clipping that high end there. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm going... And then, and then, to top it off... She has the brains of a Hoover wet dry vac. <laughs> <laughs> then to top it off, so last night you're making dinner. Yes. And Bengal starts licking some of the books. Yes, I was. I look over and he's sniffing the top book over there. I'm going to have to move these. But he's still just sniffing and he goes... <laughs> and I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> and then this morning, Tigger was doing the same. She was? Yes. <laughs> oh, if they eat another book, <laughs> tell me what. No, I think we would hear it. I don't know, man. I, I really do. I, I think we would at least hear a plop. I think that is. I don't a, think they're well. smart enough to just sneakily drag it. Yeah. Off of a pile. My old dog, Mister. <coughs> my old dog, Mister, was uh, was that way. She was she was very good at the, at the sneakiness. Oh, right. I I don't <laughs> think these two are. <laughs> yeah, probably. I not. think they're a bit too cuts. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, Mister would. Uh, she she uh, like a box of pizza. Pizza was one of her favorite things, which she was not allowed to have, by the way. <laughs> But I caught her on multiple occasions. You'd leave, you'd leave the box on the on the coffee table, and uh, I was like in the kitchen or something. I don't even remember. And I'd look over, and all you'd see is the pizza box lid slightly lift up, and then her head would reach in, and she'd very daintily, just kind of with a couple of teeth, grab a hold of a slice, slide it up, and pull it gently out of the box, and then the lid would kind of go back down. And then she would, and then slink off very quiet. Everything was very slow motion. So there was no sudden thing that would uh, like set you off. And you're like, hey, what are you doing? And she'd be like, oh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, my, uh, these two are not that sly. No. No, <laughs> they are not. Like said, you it, keep going with that two year old thing. I'm like, mm. Mm. <laughs> no, we gotta. <laughs> there's a silent wet dry vac. Well, maybe for, for the for maybe the Tigger was just part. trying to increase her knowledge to become a two year old. That's what I said. She was trying to become smarter by eating the book. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not how that works. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Uh, One of the mechanics books would have been better. God. One of the children's. <laughs> One of the children's. <laughs> no. How about no books? Uh, well, Let's I'm just not saying. With books. I'm just saying with the amount of books that we have. Mm. Given any of them, one of the Chilton's probably would have been better. Yeah, but no. <laughs> I said, no books. It's not the So, so we have the scale here of, of dog intelligence, and the fat one is blue. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Just wanted to no, put that out there it. official into the world that your dog is lower on the list <laughs> than the mouth breather that he chews over here right there. Just saying. Right there. This is the lowest that this meme goes. We need to add an extra layer. <laughs> I eat shoes. <laughs> yeah. I eat books. <laughs> oh, Renee says books not good. Yeah, books no, no good. No. Books are no good. Definitely not <clears throat> on their diet. <laughs> but we still love her. Oh, well. We yeah. still love both of them. Very much so. But, but I may beat them to death. No, Just you won't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. All right, probably not. <laughs> anyway, I was just like, oh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you could tell who the guilty one was because I oh, took yeah. the book over. <laughs> yeah, your dogs are <laughs> hilarious when it comes to the guilty thing. Because sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you can't tell with dogs. Like, did you do this? And they're like, da, da, da. yeah, no. We had we had the one that was sitting there like. Oh my god. <laughs> he was sitting there, his eyes were open. Not 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 the fat one. He's like, It wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> and he got that nervous wiggle going. He's like, It wasn't me. It wasn't me. And then the other one looked, saw what was in your hand, ran around the outside of the island in the kitchen, and looked back like, Oh god, I'm gonna die. Which is funny because it I mean really. <laughs> <laughs> and then I took the book because we really couldn't tell with with Bengal. Yeah, because um, he I, looked so guilty. He did. <laughs> but he was. I mean, he was just like, like, oh god, oh no, this is bad. I didn't do it. I swear. <laughs> you, you just take it and and you and you, you put it towards him, and you're like, did you do this? And he's like, 
<laughs> yeah, he was. And then I took it over to Tigger, and she started trying to wiggle away. Yeah, she wouldn't and look at it. She's like, no, yep. no. <laughs> She's like, yep, there it is. Yep, she wouldn't guilty. even look at the darn thing. <laughs> guilty, guilty, guilty. And Dave says, now whose fault is that, do is that dog's intelligence level? Have you tried to teach your dogs to read the books instead or eat? <laughs> yeah, no, I just, I think at this point, teaching them to read is just beyond. Oh, oh but wait. <laughs> really? He said, he said, whose fault is it? <laughs> they were with you longer. Uh, this is true. And as younger pups. Yes, this is true. However... We had we had the book issue. We had the wood eating issue because Bengal thought he was a beaver. <laughs> he still does think he's a beaver. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, <laughs> and those were all taken care of. Those were all issues that were taken care of. <laughs> and then we come here. <laughs> yes, but now they listen. Uh, this is true. I am so not the alpha when it comes to those dogs. <laughs> Yes, now they listen. They sit and they they lay <laughs> down. They, it, it, yes, but they, they do it is the point. <laughs> <clears throat> it's to you. I am just, for some reason, I am not the alpha. You're just too permissive with them. Mm. I love them to death, but they will listen or they will die. <laughs> not really. But, you know, they think so, apparently. <laughs> hey, yeah, they do. They do. I, I, I don't know where that comes from. Um, with Bengal, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, because he was an older rescue. Yes, yes. And with true. Tigger, I have really no clue as to where that has come from because I have had her since she was eight weeks old. I don't know. Maybe she was, <laughs> it was a previous dog life. Or something. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> yeah, she has issues, man. She does. <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely. She'll lick her own dog hair off of the hard floor. <laughs> And eat it. It's okay, like, okay. What are you no, doing? No, man? no, no. I learned one year that, oh, oh my goodness, and this was after I got Bengal, so maybe it's a stress <laughs> thing with Bengal. Um, I learned after one year uh, that I have to put fireworks mm -hmm. up and out of the way. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Tigger eats fireworks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I told you, man. Box of Rocks is here. <laughs> Tigger is here. She falls oh. lower on that list. <laughs> Renee says, my dog runs to her kennel until I discover what she's eaten. Then they never stop being billy goats. <laughs> <laughs> and then Gina says, my uh, Brittany Penny has no guilty conscience. My lab, Hennessy, rest in peace, always acted guilty, and I don't think she was the culprit most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, ours, you can definitely tell who's guilty. Because at, as soon as you go, points, what was that? You know, the guilty one is gone. They're like, oh, God. <laughs> Off they go. It's like, yep, it was you. Uh, yesterday, yesterday it was a little more difficult. Different. But that look. I think, I think Bengal may have partaken, but I don't <laughs> I think. I don't think he was the initiator. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, God. It wasn't me. <laughs> Either that or he's getting wise to it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. I just. <clears throat> Yeah, Tigger, I, I, she, uh, and I don't know where it comes from. I don't the, know, the man. Strain, the eating yeah, okay. of strange things. You know what? No, because Bangle's got it too. It's got to be you. Okay, because Bangle, Bangle has this fetish with like charcoal and burnt wood or little pieces of wood. Like we, we have a wood stove here in the house. And when I bring in, when I bring in logs to put in the fireplace, he gets really excited because he wants to take the whole log and go gnaw on it. Okay. But especially if it's burnt. Right. And there, <laughs> there is truly a reason for that. <laughs> so when I first got him, I was living in a little 400 square foot apartment mm -hmm. and they had a loft that was an extra addition. Okay. Well, they hadn't treated the wood or anything and I came home one day from work and this is where the whole beaver thing came oh, no, from. He, ate he started chewing and eating the wood off of the, the support beams <laughs> to the freaking loft. And so I had to... Um, oh, Renee says, all I have to say is, really? And all three are gone. 
pretty much. <laughs> All three of them. Uh, her dogs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so what I had to do was I had to change what he was chewing so the loft wouldn't fall over. <laughs> And it's not like they were bored or anything. They had other dogs to play with. They had a doggy door. They had the cats to play with. The whole kit and caboodle. <laughs> and, so, and yet he was and, still gnawing on the support team. He was. And the <clears throat> only thing I had to transfer at the time was a piece of wood from my my outdoor fire. Uh, from from my <laughs> fire pit. And so I gave it to him and he loved it. <laughs> It's the caramelized <laughs> wood parts in there. Oh, jeez. And so, <laughs> and so what ended up happening, and I don't know what happened to this. Okay, oh, it, it got lost in a move somewhere. Oh, okay. um, my mom, uh, she and I were talking about it. My mom actually came up with a really good idea. And it was the uh, petrified wood that people use for parrot perches. It's not petrified wood. Uh, e either way. <laughs> Okay. Petrified wood is a rock. Right, but either way, the wood... Although he does chew on rocks. No, Tigger eats rocks, yeah. but... <laughs> like I said, you know that scale we were talking about? The fat one eats rocks. <laughs> yes, she does. Anyway, um, moving on. So, so it, <clears throat> I got him a parrot perch, uh -huh. and he loved it. <laughs> Left all the wood products alone. Except for the bear. Well, that's cool. I guess we need to find one. But you, you have not been able to find one. And, well, we don't have a pet store here. Well. <laughs> and we haven't really looked on Amazon. This is true. This oh, is ye true. who reminds me. Amazon, we got the world at our fingertips. I don't think about it. But you gotta <laughs> see, stop. See? <laughs> you gotta stop. You gotta stop calling it petrified wood because that's not what it is. And if you search for that, you're gonna buy the wrong thing. <laughs> You want petrified wood? No, I've I would look, in the front yard. I, I would look for parrot perches. <laughs> I thought you did, and you couldn't find any. I did, but they were triple digits. <laughs> All right, you know what? I think I think antlers will work just fine. They used it to have some of those. We had it, to take them away, though. It doesn't. It that doesn't work as well, <clears throat> you know, because it's a different thing. Yeah. But they so, did. They did like the antler thing. Oh, we were talking to a friend of ours the other night. They they do the antler thing as well, and they got a smoke a deal on some that they made themselves. You had some antlers, mm -hmm. and they worked amazing until they whittled them down to a certain size and kept trying to swallow it. Yes. <laughs> like stop trying to swallow this. So we had to take it away because it was like it, 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 yeah, and because of the rock eater. <laughs> <laughs> But actually, I think Bengal actually tried to eat that thing one time. Uh, yeah, like, he started Stop. choking on it. Yeah, yeah, he could try and swallow it and be like, ah! It's like, uh, yep, and they Stop. went into the trash after that one. Yep, like, all right, fine. Like, Renee's asking if driftwood. Driftwood? Yeah, that might work. Okay. <clears throat> if it's been in for a while. Okay. Yeah. It gets, you know, kind of treated. It's almost treated and hardened, so. That works. Mm hmm Yeah. But, yeah, mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, we, we have definitely odd dogs. <laughs> and one is slightly more intelligent now because she ate Emerson. But anyway, <laughs> not really. <laughs> not I'm really. moving in stuff outside, so I, yeah. I may need to open the door real quick. No, no, no. I don't even want to know. All right, all right. <laughs> if they're eating another book, though, someone's going down. <laughs> Just saying. All right, so what? So we're talking about dogs. You need to bring that up. What, this one At here? At least my dogs do not do this. Oh, my. I, I remember this from the other day. Y yes, yes. Give me just a second. I'll pull it up here. At yeah. least the dogs do not do this. Um, and, and like I said, at one point, well, at several points in their lives, they've had doggy doors. Yeah, well, and yeah. there's a reason why I say no to doggy doors. Actually, there's a lot of reasons why well, I say no to doggy doors. Well, with the doggy doors, they never did this. <laughs> now, the cat would bring things in, but the dogs wouldn't bring anything but their toys in. <laughs> and I don't know well how well you guys can see that, but the dog has drug the sprinkler, sprinkler. the active Sprinkler. Yes, that was running dogs. outside. He has drug it through the dog door, and now there is a sprinkler in. Is that the li Yeah, that's the living room. Now there's a sprinkler just. 
Dave says, Lois, I was hoping to defend the little four-legged friends, but you keep making Chris's case for him. Chris, take the shovel out of her hands. She is digging a hole. Right. <laughs> no, I'm agreeing. <laughs> <laughs> So I this is it. one of the many reasons that I do not want a dog door. <laughs> this is actually a, one of the outliers. Like, I wouldn't have actually thought of this until I saw this. And it's just like, oh, hell no. <laughs> the dog with the sprinkler in the living room. It's like a, a you know game of Clue. And the worst part is, if you're not <laughs> home, the dog is gone and the house is no. flooded. <laughs> For like, it was the dog... In the dog <laughs> door with the sprinkler. Oh, oh, and the insurance probably wouldn't cover that. It ain't no way insurance would cover that. Is it, this is one of the many reasons about this. <laughs> See, but the thing is, one dog does not like water from the hose. Yeah, well, okay. yeah, yeah. He doesn't. No. He, 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 dog, but he does like, he does like, like a swimming cool. pool full of it. He'll just get it in. Pretty much. The other one bites the water that yes. like, <laughs> so she would be she would be so busy chasing it that she wouldn't even think of dragging it in you want to bet I guarantee you the fact that she caught the source of the water she'd be happy and be doing all kinds of and she'd want to come in and nest with it <laughs> and then since this is a tile floor this is a tile floor she'd be chasing the water as it was spraying sliding and banging <laughs> it. so this is only mild levels of destruction compared to the rock biter. <laughs> what you say? The rock biter would make this much, much worse. <laughs> the rock biter or the rock eater? Both. Both. <laughs> oh wow, there's all kinds of stuff. Uh, there on. are. <laughs> yeah, I just. Uh, so yeah, dogs. I just. <laughs> I love them to death, but if I, you know what, somebody be dying. <laughs> just saying. And this came across both of our feeds the other day. Yeah. It's like, oh, God. I mean, can you imagine? And this guy, whoever took this picture had the presence of mind to take the picture and not just be like, that's it. I am done. But look how much fun the dog is having. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a blast. <laughs> and this is why dogs don't listen to you. And that's why this dog... Doesn't listen to... I mean, really? Oh, it's so cute. They're having fun. It just did $10,000 plus dollars worth of damage to your house. But it's cute. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bad dog. Gina says, Gina says, my hazelnut brings dead rabbits to me in my bedroom. <laughs> and she says it was bigger than she is. <laughs> it's like the jackrabbit. I saw a jackrabbit the other day. Where was I? I think I was over. I was over at dry stores. I think working on the house book, and uh, there was a jackrabbit that was about half the size of Tigger. I mean, this thing wow. was huge. It was probably two and a half, three feet tall at the top of its ears. It was big. Mm. <laughs> and it, when I saw it, it was probably only 10, 15 feet away. I saw it. It saw me. Did it run? No. Nope. It just kind of slowly walked away. On you know, kind of doing its little thing, and I'm like, man. <laughs> But I guess, you know, in, in his little world, he is, you know, king of the rabbits because he's big. <laughs> and I have seen those things uh, scare off dogs before. Uh, yeah, so, <clears throat> there, there is a reason. They could be vicious, man. <laughs> I remember I remember uh, my one of my friends, uh, he had a chihuahua. <laughs> oh, no. He had a chihuahua. And that chihuahua, man, he thought he was just, <laughs> he was just Mr. King everything. And... Uh, he went chasing after one of those one time. He went chasing down, and and uh, the rabbit, or well, it's the, the jackrabbit. <clears throat> he, he started chasing him, and the jackrabbit stopped, turned around, and kind of did a little bit of a charge at him. The dog went like, <laughs> it was like, yay, 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 and then ran off. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> the rabbit, but you know, the chihuahua was like this big. And the jackrabbit was like this big. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? Was like, this North? Yeah, it was North. <laughs> it was like, but yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Man, that rabbit would have taken a chunk out of that dog's oh. eye. I'm telling you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was not good. <coughs> oh. 
That's hilarious. Oh, goodness gracious. So, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and transition off of uh, the dogs of destruction here. <laughs> <clears throat> they all must be related somehow. It's a canine thing. No, it's canines related to you thing. Uh, it, no, yeah. no, no. That that one is not related to me. The one with the sprinkler is not related to me. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I'm <laughs> telling you. I think I think there's some kind of correlation going on. No, no, there is. <laughs> you know, if Tigger starts talking and speaking Emerson later, I'm gonna be a. You know, we're gonna have to do some kind of circus freak show thing. Yeah, we're gonna. Get, well, you know what? We'll give her. We'll make her a podcast with the dog talking. There you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> but we have to also add video, so it wouldn't be a v- podcast to prove oh, that yeah. it's the dog. I could have a picture on the podcast. But yeah. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so Renee says, "Them aren't rabbits. Them are jackalopes." <laughs> yeah, you know what? I tell you what. So I'm gonna let you guys in on a little something here. Oh no. <laughs> this is a sad, sad thing. So, nowadays, when I'm curious about something or if I'm interested in something, I do a lot of research on it. I learn as much as I can about it, you know, because I'm curious. I want to know. This was not always the case. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you made me snort. <laughs> this was not always the case. In my younger years, uh, my, uh, my dad... He used to scare me half to death with tales of the purple spotted kid killer and jackalopes. Jackalopes in particular. But there was the purple spotted kid killer. We will go, you know, there was that too. But the jackalope. And so <clears throat> it's my dad. I never really looked into it. I didn't, you know, I was like, well, you it's trusted my dad. him. I trusted him. <laughs> And I was terrified as a younger a younger child of jackalopes because I thought they were, you know, they were real. This was the ending of your trusting, wasn't it? <laughs> I thought jackalopes were real until I was like 16, 17 years old <laughs> when I actually decided to research into them and found out that the, and then I was just like, <laughs> 16 or 17, I still believed in jackalopes. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, so so just let that be a reminder. Just because you think something is true, you might want to look into it just in case. <laughs> because you could have been duped, whether it's by yourself or trusting family members. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, <clears throat> oh, <just> saying. <laughs> Renee says Lois is broken. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I remember you guys talking about that story when I met your dad. <laughs> yep. 16, 17 years old, still thought jackalopes were real. And then your trust for the rest of your life was completely Yeah, I don't shattered. trust anybody anymore. I don't even trust myself. I go and make sure. <clears throat> um, you know there's that whole thing that says trust but verify? Nope. I don't even do that anymore. I don't believe squat until I've laid eyes on it and researched it myself. <laughs> All because of you, Dad. <laughs> Dave says, ha ha, Chris, I should take you snipe hunting. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> See how it is. Gina, yeah, it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Gina says, me too, Chris. Maybe a little older. I was a city girl, LOL. <laughs> Oh, and then baby. Renee says, it was a good run, Mr. Lee. <laughs> it was very sad. Yes. Yes. And, it, you know, it, it is embarrassing, but, you know, we have to own the things that happen to us in life and take responsibility. And it yes. was my fault. I did not, you know, I, I was trusting and I just believed it. And, you know, and so now, like I said, I trust absolutely nothing unless I have done the research on it myself. Which is one of the reasons I have so many weird facts in my head because I have to check and make sure <laughs> of everything. Why? Because of the jackalope and the purple See? spotted kid killer. <laughs> Just like See, we didn't have purple spotted kid killer or the jackalope or anything like that. Um, thankfully or unthankfully, however you want to look at it, <laughs> uh, our uh, my dad taught us not to trust at a very very early age. Well, I didn't I, trust anybody as a kid except my dad. Oh, no. This went to everybody. Oh, did it? Okay. It, it did. So, and, and the one time 
that that he did this is the is the time I I know my trust shattered. <laughs> and I was single digits in age. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> and Dad was doing a joke. Okay. Matches burn twice. They burn twice. Okay. And I'm going, no, they don't. They burn once. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I already got <laughs> this in my one. head now. They burn twice. And so he lights a match, uh-huh. blows it out, and says, touch it. <laughs> did you actually touch it? Oh, God. <laughs> Ow! It just burned twice. Hey, yes, it did. <laughs> Yeah, but he actually warned you. That wasn't I know. a trust thing. It was a trust thing. Because the whole touch it. Yeah. You trust, <laughs> you trust your parents. So at that oh, point, my trust, sh- my trust just right, shattered. So at a young age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <clears throat> That's Renee funny. says gullible much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and then uh, Gina says, my grandfather used to scare us. Scare us on his farm about snipes. Snipes, yeah. So okay. I've heard of the snipe thing, but I didn't believe that when it came out. Okay. Then jackalopes, man. And you know, my dad had a picture of a jackalope. This is how I why I thought they were real. Oh no. It was one of those postcards of one, you know, that they make and it's out in the field and it's got the pointy teeth. <laughs> and so I thought it was real because there was a picture. This is before the internet, okay? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so I saw a picture and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> check it out. <laughs> I have nightmares oh about that thing. So, so <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm going to show my ignorance here. What is a snipe? Mm-hmm. It's a make believe thing with hunting. We're, we're, we'll go into it later. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> you go snipe hunting, it's, it's like a rite of passage. Yeah, you know, you know what? You'd have to go, uh, what, what was it? King of the Hill did a great episode on it. Where uh, where where they they take the son Bobby out into the woods and he has to go snipe hunting, and uh, you have to make a certain sound and you have to beat bushes to try and get the snipe to come out. But everybody knows the snipe is fake except oh. for the idiot that's hunting for oh, it. Okay. So we're, you know, and he's like woo 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 woo. woo. So you have to make a spell. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's funny. <laughs> it, it really is. But you have to see it in action to believe it. So. <laughs> Gina is also <laughs> saying, right, Chris? Uh, for which one? I, I, don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Probably the pictures yeah. before or the rite of passage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but, yeah. Rites mm-hmm. of passage from our youth. <laughs> and yes, I was gullible. I, you know, <laughs> not but, anymore. But as kids, I I can't explain the 16, 17 year old thing, but you know, as kids. Yeah, we are gullible to our parents. I know. <laughs> it get, you know what? Use it wisely. Uh, yes. Use it wisely. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, Gina says about the picture of a jackalope. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. That's the thing. We saw a picture. It had to be real. You know, nowadays kids are like, oh, it's on the internet. It must be real. No. Read about it. Learn about it. Investigate. Use that thing between your ears for more than just a paperweight. <laughs> See, unfortunately, it's not all, all, only kids nowadays. So. I know, I know. You know there is yeah, the there whole... is a purpose for the gray matter between the ears. <laughs> Just say it. Never mind. I'm not going there. <laughs> Uh, are you okay over there, I, I, Well, you said there is a purpose for the gray matter, and I just went complete dark and, oh, no. and Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, that's where I went with it. <laughs> that's funny. Well, the way things are going nowadays, it probably have salmon <laughs> contamination. Oh, oh, my goodness, yes. And that reminds hey, me, yeah, well, there's another recall. Another one for the way, <laughs> for the way powder. So we've got uh, we've been talking in the news at night. We've been talking about all these recalls. It started out with those. Uh, what, there was some kind of snack cake, the little brown spiral things. Oh, uh, the Swiss rolls. The Swiss rolls. Uh, so I yes, I know it's hilarious because I don't know what they are, but I don't eat them. So I you know, but I recognize how they look. 
They recalled those. Last night, they were, you know, we were talking about, they recalled all kinds of Ritz crackers, the sandwich kinds with the little stuffs in them. Now it's goldfish. Now it's goldfish. <laughs> Great. <laughs> goldfish was I recalled a little while ago. I, I, I remember but that. But this one's for the same For the whey. same salmonella. It's the uh, yes. whey powder company that yeah, surprised us. Yeah, I, I need supplies. to do some research and, and find out. What the whey powder is? Where, <laughs> what the whey powder is being used in. Because like every single lot. one of those are going to get recalled. Yeah, well, there's a, the, the, the whey powder company that makes the whey powder, they're the ones that think there's a salmonella contamination issue, and the whey powder is put into everything. So it's going to be a lot of recalls. So be careful out there and pay attention to the recalls that are coming out. Um, David says, the jackalopes aren't real. Next you will tell me there is no Santa Claus. And <clears throat> excuse me, Renee well, Santa says, Claus is totally oh, real, no. so I don't know how to tell you. Renee now. says, "David, there is a Santa Claus, but no Easter Bunny." No, nope, there is an Easter Bunny. I have seen the Easter Bunny. He has horns. <laughs> 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 anyway, <laughs> he is the jackalope. Yes, <laughs> he is the king of the jackalopes. <laughs> Actually, no. Uh, so, so one uh, one year for Easter. <clears throat> I took my kids out. Uh, we went camping, and this was so we we we, got, we went camping. We're out in the middle of nowhere, and it was for Easter, and I had this whole thing planned out because the kids were like, "But well, we have to be home because the Easter Bunny's coming, and we're, we have to have the eggs." And I said, "Well, don't worry about it." I said, "The Easter Bunny," and yes, I did this to my kids. I one hundred percent admit it, <laughs> and I am not stopping. <laughs> I told them that normally. Jackalopes eat bad children. I said, but on Easter, they help out the Easter Bunny with kids that are in remote locations. So the Easter Bunny passes on the task of putting out the eggs and things for all of the kids. And so the Jackalope is good one day a year and comes out and helps out. And so <laughs> they were terrified the whole time. They're like, but the jackalope, he's he's going to get us. I'm like, yeah, but it's okay because it's Easter, which means he's not going to hurt you. And if you're good anyway, he won't bother you. It's only if you're bad. So you can always tell when the kids are misbehaving because they're looking over their shoulder for the jackalope. <laughs> so the next day, um, we actually um, I walked around. We, you know, I put all the eggs out while they were sleeping in their tents. And I actually made little, like, jackalope footprints next to eggs and things like that. <laughs> and we went out, you know, and, and, and uh, my son, he was, he was going through some Boy Scout stuff where there's animal tracks and stuff. And so I knew what he was, you know, the, that he was looking for that kind of thing. And I'm like, look, look, there's jackalope tracks. That's <laughs> <laughs> <was> great. <laughs> I am evil. I know, I know. Yeah, but at least you gave the jackalope one good day a year. <laughs> I did. I did. Yeah, he came out to help out the Easter Bunny. A little helping in. Because I, I told him, I said, you know, I said, there's all kinds of people that go camping, on, you know, over Easter. And, uh, well, the, the Easter Bunny needs help to get to all of those kids. And so, you know, they enlist the help of the jackalopes. <laughs> yeah. And with the, the advent of the Internet, you know, there's much better pictures of jackalopes now. <laughs> <laughs> and so the tradition continues. It does. <laughs> Yeah, I may complain about it for my dad, but I am passing it along to the next generation. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, let's see. Oh, yeah. Is it about that time, or do, would, you, would you like to squeeze one more in there, Lois? It's, um, I've got a few things, but uh, wow, today was, you know, bad animal day. Bad animal day. <laughs> Speaking of it. I heard some noises I, out there. I earlier. did, I did, but you told me I couldn't go out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's bad enough when you're constantly staring into your lap. I, I watched the, like yesterday's episode, and you're constantly looking down, and you can't tell what's going on. Right, because I gotta see the comments. I understand that, across. but when you're watching and you don't know that, it's pretty funny because you're just like, <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my just goodness! Just my saying. peripheral vision is pretty darn good, but when it comes to this, it not uh, really. Right, well, it's not really. I mean, you got to read it. So no, it yeah. Really <laughs> <clears throat> so anyway, I guess uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, and call that uh, call that a wrap. Do we have any more comments over there? Uh, no, we're good. All right. Well, you guys have an amazing, terrific tequila taco two for Tuesday. Yes. 
Go out there. Goodness. Have a great day. Make Nothing it amazing. Happens. Hopefully, yes. uh, hopefully you don't work too hard. Oh, and by the way, still an excessive heat warning for the area, so stay hydrated. It's for a lot of be, areas, actually. <clears throat> I know. There's a lot of areas, but especially here in Page, all throughout Lake Powell, it, it's a giant map. Either way, stay hydrated, stay safe, and, uh, you know, don't get a heat stroke. No fun. Yeah. Have an amazing e day. Equal, out, equal parts of alcohol and, and water. <laughs> <laughs> We're just staying in an air-conditioned room. There you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. A shot of tequila, shot of water, shot of tequila. There you go. <laughs> I used to have a friend that was a shot of whiskey, shot of Pepto. Shot of, he had an ulcer, so shot of whiskey, shot of Pepto. Shot of whiskey, shot of Pepto. I'm like, dude, how can you do that? He's like... That's what I gotta do. I'm just like. Ah. <laughs> Renee says stiff neck from head banging. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Pretty much. That's how she works. All right, who's ready for some I am. <laughs> the RPT comes to life. <laughs> Catch you guys later. Have fun. <laughs>